Hi, hello there, my name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. In today's video, we are doing a lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick collection. For today's video, whenever I was going through all my lipsticks, I was astonished by the monstrosity of lipsticks that I have accumulated over the last several years. I mostly have nude pinky brown shades in this collection, so if you're looking for fun, vibrant colors, this isn't where it's at. It's mostly just a nudie pink mess. I do understand that I have more lipsticks than the average person does, however, I may not have as many as other people do, but this is just my collection. Some of this stuff I've had for way too long and it's got to go. So if that sounds interesting to you and if you'd like to see my lipstick collection and what I'm getting rid of, what I'm keeping, then keep on watching. You guys so I went ahead and organized everything and between you and me this is my second time filming this because I am dumb I had my microphone face the wrong way the entire time so I already know what I'm getting rid of but I did already go ahead and organize everything just so you guys could see my collection and right off the bat you can tell that I have a type that type is basic brown basic pink i have no diversity amongst my lipstick collection but you know what that's okay well let's let's go ahead and get into this all right so this is the pile of crap i'm getting rid of <laughs> Oh God. Okay, so we have a Sephora liquid lipstick. There wasn't anything necessarily wrong with this. However, I've just had this for probably five years now and it's gotta go. I have this BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen. Same thing with the Sephora one. This has been around for way too long. I don't use it anymore and it needs to be thrown away. It's really gross. I'm gonna spare you the situation of having to open this up and look at it because it is disgusting. I have two of these NK Pure Lip Oils. I think I got these from a flea market or something and they're honestly not bad. I just don't really use them a whole lot and I've had them for probably probably three or four years and it's time for them to go. This NYX Butter Gloss, it is just the wrong shade for me. It leans more towards the purple side and it just doesn't look good on me. It's not very flattering, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. This thing, okay, this L'Oreal Infallible Mattes. This is in the shade Skinny Dip. I used and abused this thing. I am not gonna open it up because it is honestly disgusting. The inside of this packaging is so gross. I've probably had this for three to four years now, and it is time for it to go, but the sad thing is, and the reason why I've kept holding on to it, is because I don't think they make it anymore. I think it's discontinued and unfortunately it's just time for this thing to be thrown away. All right, next, I don't know what sort of phase I went through, but it, during this phase I was obsessed with Victoria's Secret lip products. This Victoria's Secret sugar lip scrub, uh, it smells like Play-Doh now. <laughs> It is past its expiration date. It reeks of Play-Doh. It has to go. And then this one, the shade of this is just absolutely atrocious and it's got to go as well. This plumped me up. I never really liked it and I, oh god, I feel like I've just wasted so much money at Victoria's Secret on their stupid lip products, so... Bye. Next up, we have this NYX Lip Butter Lipstick. And what was I thinking buying this Barbie pink color? I've used this maybe once and it is time for it to go. It's probably been in my collection for four or five years. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. There's no mold on it or anything. It's taking up room and I, it's gotta go. All right, so now we have 
the rest of it. We'll go ahead and start in this little corner of Misfits. I have three NYX products. My favorite product from NYX is this Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade Dario Serio. I can't pronounce it. However, I really enjoy this lip cream. I layer this on top of other liquid lipsticks just to give it like a extra dimensional sort of vibe. I don't know, but I really enjoy it and I'm keeping it. I have two NYX lipsticks. I have a red one, nude one, of course, and they're staying here. I have these two Makeup Revolution lipsticks, and I've only used them once. The more I look at them, the more I don't even want them, and I don't think I'm going to use them. I bought it because of the packaging. Uh, d hello. Um, but the more I look at it, it just looks more like a old lady lip lipstick, and the shades in here... I'll open them up. The shades in here are pretty. They're like nudie pink shades. However, they are just not that good. Uh, I may get rid of them. This is so terrible. Oh my god. How much money have I wasted on nude lipsticks that I don't like? What am I thinking? thinking. All right, now I have two Maybelline lip products. This is the Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Driver, and this is just a really good um, liquid lipstick for Maybelline. I've repurchased this probably twice, and it is just a really beautiful, warm, light brown shade, and it is sticking around. And oh my goodness, this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Nude Thrill. I've repurchased this thing probably three or four times. I've been using it throughout the years, and it has remained a very tried and true nude lipstick. When in doubt, go with Nude Thrill. Okay, next up, I have two products from Rimmel London. One is the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is just in the shade Black, and this is honestly a really good black liquid lipstick. It is pitch black, stays on, it's not drying, it's very comfortable, and I'm gonna keep it just because this is my only black lipstick, and I don't have any issues with it. Next, I have the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss, and honestly, it is pretty good. Rimmel London did a great job with this. I've probably had this for about two years now. It's just really great. It doesn't look as baby pink as it does in the um, component as it does on your lips. And I'm going to keep this. All right, so this LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color, this thing slaps. <laughs> this is in the shade Vixen. And there's just something about it. It is so comfortable on the lips. I have tried out higher end liquid lipstick formulas that are not as good as this one. And it is like three or four bucks. If you're in the market for a good liquid lipstick, I think I got this at Dollar General about two years ago. And I would highly recommend this LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color to you. All right, good old Wet n Wild coming through. Um, I have the My Melody Karomi Lipstick Collection I'm keeping these. I have a red liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Flame of the Game. It's more of like an orangey red. like the only ready liquid lipstick that I have in my collection, so I'm going to keep it for those purposes. Next, I have the Coffee Cat Lip Gloss. I enjoyed using this. It smells like coffee, and it's staying. Then I have this lipstick in the shade Never Nude, and it is just a really good nudie brown shade. I really enjoy using it, and and it's gonna stick around a little bit longer. Okay, so I think we're going to get into the higher end of things. First, I have two lip glosses from Kimchi Chic. This gloss over gloss is just jam-packed with glitter. Um, it is really pretty, however, if you find that you don't like the sort of gritty glitter texture, I would not recommend this to you. You can most certainly feel the glitter in this lip gloss, so if that's something that bothers you, I would skip on it. The High Key Gloss, this is in the shade Natural. It looked lighter online than it does in person. Um, it's really nice though, and it is super shiny. However, I don't use it that much, but I'm going to try to use it more often. So these are sticking around. I have decided to keep three of my Victoria's Secret lip glosses. They're just really pretty. Um, this one, the Get Glossed, once again, if you don't like glitter in your gloss that you can feel that's sort of gritty, I wouldn't recommend you get this. But these two are really good. They can be a bit sticky. Your hair will get stuck in them if you're like out in the wind or something, but they are really beautiful and I'm going to 
keep them. I have this Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey, and this is just a really pretty, very cool toned brown, light brown shade. It smells really good. I don't have anything else that's like this in my collection. I know they're all browns, they're all nudes, but I don't have anything that's a cool toned nude like this and smells as good as this one, so I'm keeping it. Next up, I have three Ofra liquid lipsticks. I have the Flexi Slick in the shade Stretch. I have Rio and Bel Air. My favorite one is probably this Flexi Slick in the shade Stretch. I do really like Ofra liquid lipsticks though. Uh, they are very, very soft. They don't dry down. It's like super crinkly that some other liquid lipsticks do. They're very pigmented and I really, I enjoy these. However, I just use this one um, more often than I use these two. Oh, good old Oh, color pop. I love you, ColourPop. So I have a couple uh, ColourPop lip products here. The first one and the most notable is the Hocus Pocus lipstick. This is in the shade Winnie. I reviewed this on my channel when I reviewed the palette, and uh, this is just so beautiful. It's a, such a pretty red color. I don't use it that often, but I am keeping it because obviously like the packaging, limited edition. And this is like really heavy. This has a good weight to it, and I am most definitely keeping it. I have one of their liquid lipsticks, and this is in the shade Midnight Snack. This is my favorite liquid lipstick probably, aside from another one that I'll talk about in a minute. I love this liquid lipstick. It is very affordable. It is the perfect liquid lipstick shade for me, and I will continue to use it and possibly repurchase it. I have three of the ultra glossy lips here. I do really like these. They smell like maple syrup. They smell so good. My favorite one is probably Snow Day. I just really like the pink reflect in here, but I do really enjoy these. However, I think I like their Lux Gloss Formula a little bit more than the Ultra Glossy. I feel like this one is just a little bit lighter. It's not as sticky as this one. Both of them aren't like super sticky. However, this one's just not as sticky. And the shades of both of these, they're just so beautiful. I just don't wear glosses that much. And I think one thing I've learned <laughs> from doing this declutter is that I do not need any more glosses in my life. I have more than enough right now, and I need to just get through all of these before I buy another freaking lip gloss. I do have one of their Lux Lip Oils. This is really, really pretty, and I would say is a pretty close dupe for the Fenty Gloss Balm. They are similar in shade. However, this one does not look very good whenever you put it on top of certain lipsticks. Sometimes, it tends to rub off whatever you have on underneath it and it just looks like a hot mess. That doesn't happen with all the lipsticks I put it on top of, but it does happen. So we'll just go ahead and move on over to the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Fussy. I think this is the first one they ever came out with. I've had it for probably a year and a half, maybe two years now, and this is my favorite lip gloss in my collection. It smells great, it feels great, and it is just universally flattering. I think this would look good on anybody, and I would highly recommend this to you if you're in the market for a good bougie lip gloss. Okay, so these aren't really lipsticks, but I do have two of these Sol de Janeiro lip butters. I have the original and I have this tinted one that I got in a BoxyCharm. This one states that it's supposed to just give you a wash of color. However, I find that it does nothing. Um, it feels and it smells exactly like the Brazilian Kiss one, but it just, it just... Uh, there's no color. I'm not really mad about it because I didn't, you know, pay full price for it. But the issue that I have is this one has twice as much product as this one. And I do believe they cost the same exact amount. So if you're interested in either of these, go with this one because you get way more for your money. And I feel like this just does not show up. It still feels great, still smells great, but you're just getting twice as much product for your money with this one. Next up, I have two products from Haas Labs. This is Lady Gaga's brand, and I have this lip gloss in the shade Corset, and I have this lip crayon in the shade Dust. Okay, so you would think these are like luxurious products. Um, they don't 
feel heavy. They're plastic. They don't feel luxurious like at all. Like this ColourPop lipstick feels like it would be twice as much as what these feel like they would be. The products aren't necessarily bad. However, comparing them to like other products that I have, these are just not the best. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them and try to use them up, but yeah, they don't inspire me and I, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep them though and try to use them because I spent my hard earned money on these, but I wouldn't really recommend these to you. Uh, if you are thinking about, you could find shades exactly like this from ColourPop for half the amount out so yeah all right what I have here is like a little array of just different things I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade nude what a surprise really pretty color I feel like it's just more of a terracotta brown than the sort of pinky brown that I typically go for next up here I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick this is in the shade naked and this is my favorite liquid lipstick of all time I've probably repurchased this twice now um, I feel like it just lasts the longest it's the best shade for my skin tone and I, it's staying I have this is Too Faced Melted. The shade of it is really pretty. However, I wish it would dry down like other liquid lipsticks. Um, I am going to keep it though because I spent money on it and yeah, it is really pretty. Next, I have this Marc Jacobs liquid lipstick in the shade fawn over me i actually got this at like a tj maxx a couple years ago and it is a really pretty shade i haven't used it too often within the recent months but i'm gonna try to use it all up because it it's mark jacobs i mean it's a really good liquid lipstick but i don't know there's just something about it that i don't really like it is a really pretty color it doesn't dry down like the abh liquid lipstick but it is nice and i'm gonna keep that next i have have this flesh lipstick this is in the shade oh god this is in the shade moist I have no clue why they would name a lipstick that um however I got this in an ipsy glam bag there's nothing wrong with it I just it doesn't show up really it is more of like a wash of color instead of a lipstick I'm gonna try using it more often but it's just not my favorite thing all right now I have three Kylie liquid lipsticks and here's the thing with these i have candy k bear and kiss me sailor these look absolutely beautiful in their components but and i haven't heard anybody else say they have these issues with them but whenever i put them on i feel like they turn four shades darker on me than what they look like in the component i haven't heard anybody else complain about this but i find this statement true with every single one of her liquid lipsticks and for that reason there is just not a kylie liquid lipstick that looks good on me so i'm not even gonna try anymore <laughs> especially after the whole like private island scandal and the the halloween party scandal yeah i'm done i'm i'm done with kylie i am gonna keep these though because i did spend my hard-earned money on them i'm gonna try to use them they're just not the shades i want them to be on my lips they turn a different color and let me know in the comments down below if you've had that same thing happen to you with the kylie uh liquid lipsticks because i haven't heard anybody else complain about this so yeah there's that last but not least these are probably my favorite bullet lipsticks of all time these are the mac matte lipsticks i have four of them i have lady danger velvet teddy and honey love i also have this one in the shade crimson red it's probably discuss yeah it's pretty gross <laughs> um last time i used this was for my marilyn manson makeup tutorial but this one i just recently got in a boxy charm i haven't used it yet that's why it's still in the package this one is more of a orange red and this one is just more of like a purple toned red and then these two are my favorite velvet teddy and honey love i'll go ahead and open them up and show you the one on the left is honey love and the one on the right is velvet teddy as you can see here honey love has been getting a lot of love i have used it um almost every day for the past week it's what i have on my lips right now and velvet teddy is a repurchase this is just a little bit darker than honey love both beautiful i don't know what it is about mac lipsticks i don't know if it's the weight or if it's the smell but they are just so 
good. I would highly recommend MAC lipsticks. If you've never tried them out, you probably have. But they're just some of my favorite formulas. Have a huge shade range and I love them. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is my entire lipstick collection. We were able to get rid of a good amount of stuff today, but I did keep a lot of stuff today because I am a horror. If you found this video interesting or if you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Everything that I have on my face will be linked in the description box down below as well as all of my social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye! Jingle bell.